Welcome back, everyone. Uh, we've started a little bit of work here. Uh, we're going to make some modifications to the, to the farmyard. Uh, there's some things that I want to set up right away. I want to get it out of the way. You'll notice the money's up a bit. And um, basically, I made one major change here. But there were, I'm about to make another major change. Uh, quite a major change, as a matter of fact. So... Let's dig into that. Uh, first thing I did, let's see if I can sneak through here, through the bushes. Um, the silage pit is gone. Silage pit is gone, and I have set up a fermenter. The old trusty Hessian fermenter. Uh, we're going to be using this for uh, creating silage. So, that's... Yeah, anyways, I, I, I just got off uh, Corpy, um, no, sorry, not Corpy, on the fish though, uh, with the silage bunker, and I just, I just don't feel like it right now. Um, so anyways, that's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to do some work today. We're going to take down this tree, and we're going to take, we're going to sell this here. We're also going to sell this, and we're going to put up a production here. Uh, so we'll dig into that shortly. We still have some field work to do, so let's have a look and see where we're at with that. Okay, so uh, we've finished drilling uh, this field here. And uh, we are not fertilized, so we're going to need to deal with that. Our field over here is uh, plowed and ready to be drilled. And I believe we said we were going to put oats in there. So we're going to do that. Uh, it needs lime. So we'll have to get on that. And um, this needs lime as well, but it's grass. So I don't know. Um, we still have to harvest this. So I think what I'm going to do, I guess is uh, I think I'm going to plow this because it needs plowing. And um, I don't think we're going to touch these ones here. Those are the animal pens. We're just going to leave them as is. We're, we won't harvest these, so no point wasting time on them. Uh, this one here, I think we will lime and plow. And uh, this one here, we're going to harvest it, then plow it. So we got a lot of plowing to do and uh, some fertilizing to do over here. All right, this seed drill worked out really well. I'm very happy with it. Doesn't fertilize, but that's all right. That's all right. The heat here has finally broken. Uh, it's been a brutal few days, very hot temperatures. Uh, where am I going? Where am I going? Um, we still have some planting to do in our gardens at home, uh, so we're going to be very busy today. Uh, so I'm recording this actually quite early in the morning. Having my coffee, and uh, yeah, we'll get this done. I still have some more recording to do. I'm trying to get ahead of the game a bit. Um, things are going well, though. Things are going very well. Oops. Let's plop this in here. Need it for a little bit. And we need to plow. So our biggest tractor is our Voltra. Yeah, our biggest tractor is our Voltra. And I need to find my plow. I don't know if you remember, um, or I did mention it a couple of times in different uh, episodes about running too many series and forgetting where my stuff is. Um, I forgot where my stuff is. So, I think I left it over here. There we go. Yeah, that's the one I want right here. Now, this is grass, and, you know, technically, um, it's not that big of a deal. It's not the same thing as a, as a crop. Uh, because we can harvest it so so often uh, so but I'd like to get off to a good start and get it done right 
A lot of people don't like turning on plowing. As a matter of fact, by default, the setting is off in the game when you start a new game. Um, I like it, and, you know, the main reason for it is, uh, really, it's about seeing the texture changes. I really... Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me right now? It's already ready to harvest. Oh, you know what? I'm going to plow it and drill it anyway. Didn't we just harvest this? What is it with this map? Um, okay. Uh, let's go. Do that sharp. Hopefully we won't have any problems. Go. Okay. Off we go. We will need a lot of silage, so, um, and grass, uh, you know, for hay. Um, so we're probably going to move slowly towards having, um, grass for, grass for hay and, uh, we'll, we'll move to corn silage. Um, you know, we'll get some corn in there. We'll get ourselves a forage harvester and, and we'll get her done. So, all right. Next step, we got to mow, and um, let me get uh, another tractor. Now, I don't think this mower, this tractor is powerful enough. So, I think what we're going to do... Why don't I see... Let's see if there's anything good in, this, in the use sale. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Um, this is a nice little tractor. I really like it. I love vent tractors, by the way. Um, I haven't used them much in previous series, but uh, when I play, you know, privately, I guess, I do use them quite a bit. So, uh, we are done with bales, actually, so we can get rid of this. I want to get a more powerful tractor, so we're going to sell some stuff. We're going to do an upgrade on this guy. I think we're going to see if we can get into... A 7 series uh, Fent, maybe? Or possibly even a 9. What? Oh, what happened? Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay, up we go. All right. Oh, we still have to sell our uh, bale, bale spike. Okay, we're gonna sell all of this. We're gonna upgrade our tractor. We have money. We're gonna get nineteen dollars for this. Nice. And this we will get uh, better money for. We're actually going to get more for this than the tractor. Which is interesting. Alright, let's have a look at this. Uh, we can go for a 7 series, uh, which will take us to 246. I think um, 162 If I go up to this, is 280. We don't have enough for this. So, yeah, we're going to have to go for the 7 Series. Unless I borrow from the bank. Um, I could do that. Could do that. 246 is not a lot, to be honest. I want, I want more than that. So, okay. Okay, we're gonna uh, we're gonna hit up the bank. We're gonna borrow. Um, we're gonna go a little bit more hardcore. We're gonna borrow two hundred thousand. And the reason for that, we'll start with two ninety six. That should be plenty for now. We may need more later. And we'll just leave the wheel config as is. Actually, you know what? We might be plowing, so let's get some wide, wide with weights. 
Okay. All right. Quick upgrade. Yeah, sorry. Um, I'm jumping around here quite a bit. So the uh, the sale of the um, the sale of the silage bunker. I tell you, I, I got quite a bit back for that. It was kind of surprising. And uh, we're gonna sell a couple more buildings, and those are gonna be pretty good as well. I already kind of peeked at what the sell price might be. So. Yeah, we'll do that. We're going to get this guy mowing. And we're still going to need... Uh, I don't remember if we have a forge wagon. I don't think we do. We'll need one. Okay, so we're going to head down to our other field. As a matter of fact, I don't actually know how to get to it. Uh, is there a pass through down? Yeah, I think there is. There's a road here. Okay. All good. All good. And... Da -da -da, da -da -da. One, two... We'll do three smooth. There we go. Good enough. Go. Okay, we're off. So let's get the building. I may still move some of these sheds around. Uh, they're pretty good. They're not bad actually, um, but there's a little bit too many of them right for now anyways. Uh, this one's got to go and this is going to go here. So let's start with that. And we're going to lumberjack that one tree. I'm not going to try to go sell it. All right. What do we get for this seat? That's a really good price. Um, and this guy, there's nothing in there. So, okay. Next, I want to lumberjack this guy. Yes, I have thought out what I'm doing, so you can probably tell. Um, and go into construction. We are going to put up a production factory way down here somewhere. Um, and basically what we're going to try to do, where is it? Around here somewhere. We're gonna tr there it is. Agricultural input. Um, my hope is that we can make our own mineral feed. We're going to need tons of it, and uh, going to buy pallets every time is going to be a pain pain in the butt. So we'll make our own, and um, that's why I wanted to do this uh, right here, because it fits, fits kind of nicely. So here we go. Boom. Our first purchase production. And in usual form, we're going to, I think this is, this texture is dirt. Dirt. I always say that. I don't know why. There we go. Okay. There's a placement. I should probably fix this little patch up here too. There we go. Now we do have room for another production or something here. We do have a bit of room for something here. We're probably going to move this at some point. Um, kind of like having uh, storage for this stuff, but you know, there's one here, one here. Um, yeah, and there was one over here. I wouldn't mind putting them all together somewhere. I'm not sure where. But we'll see. 
So for this production, we are going to need mineral feed, um, and we're going to need wheat and canola. Um, there's def other things that we can do. We'll probably get into these as well, but this is the one I really want right now. So uh, problem is I have no wheat fields and no canola fields. So to get this going, I'm going to see if there are a couple of fields I can buy cheap that are ready to go. And, um, yeah, see if we can figure that out. All right. Uh, so wheat, here's wheat. These are kind of big. Maybe this, let's have a look at the so 36, uh, sorry. Number one, field number one, that's right next to our other one is ready to harvest. And I don't know how much it costs. Um, yeah, let's have a look at that. 78. I could afford that easily. So we're just going to buy it. And then let's have a look and see if there's a canola field somewhere. Um, 36 and 29 are options. 36 is ready. So let's see much that is we can afford to buy that one too sweet now i may keep these or i may sell them back we'll see not sure what we're going to do yet all right um what's next what's next i guess we'll put our harvester to work And we will need a forage wagon. So, pick up the straw. We may as well get the straw at that wheat field, right? I think what we'll do is we'll hit the canola field first. Uh, I don't quite know how to get there. Where are we? Canola field is best accessed. Um, I have no idea. No idea. I guess we're going driving. We might end up making a lot of detours here, but yeah, I'm going to dump all that wheat, all that canola in. We're not going to try to save it for something else. Oh. Any wider, and I'm not making it through. Well, here's the wheat field here. Got weeds in it, so it's probably not that great of a yield. And can I get through there? No. Let's get our beacon on. We're going to hit the road, which could be challenging. Oh boy. Oh boy, that's a real problem. Uh, terrible for the equipment. And of course there's another one. Oh good. Let's pop up my little map here. Whoa. Uh, Thirty-six. Looking for a road to get up there. Oh, looks like there's one there. I hope this works. Yes, nice. Uh, as for the entrance to the actual field, it's way down there. Uh oh, that might be a problem. Maybe I can get in right here. Now, if you guys weren't watching, I'd grab my chainsaw and take out part of that. Make a new entrance. Well, I, I probably could. There's nothing saying I can't do that, right? 
But I'm not sure if I'm keeping this field, so I'll just... I'll, ma I'll make the detour. We don't need the uh, beacon anymore. Wow, that's a big field for this harvester. That's gonna take a little while. Okay, we have we have lots to do. Oh my goodness, this is gonna take forever. Well, we don't really have a choice right now. Well, we do. I mean, I could go to the bank again, but. Well, let's have a look at this. I think I may have bitten off more than I can, I can handle. Um, yeah, that's going to be a while. Ugh. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let me think for a second. Mm -hmm. Kind of digging this right now. Problem is, this is the harvester that came with the game, with the um, uh, new farmer that I started from. And all of the equipment that came uh, was as high hours of usage, and therefore not worth that much when you sell it. But I think we're just going to go ahead and... I think we are just going to go ahead and sell this, uh, see what we get. My guess is we'll probably be in the 50000 range, and then we're going to have to take another loan. I mentioned uh, when we started this series that I was going to be a lot more aggressive, a lot faster, no limits, uh, no role play. <laughs> so here we are. I got to deal with traffic again. And Beacon has to be on for sure. We'll definitely get a we'll definitely get a, a header trailer. Okay, here we are. Let's see what we can get for this. Ugh. It's terrible. I was completely wrong. I was way off. <laughs> Hello, bank. Um, I could lease, I guess. I could lease. I don't know. Let's see what, how much the bank will actually lend us. I need to get almost 300,000 to make this happen. I could stop here. Let's see. I think it'll stop us at 500. Yeah, 500. We're completely maxed out here. So we're going to go ahead and get this guy. Uh, good harvester. 267. And we're going to get the header that goes with it. That's another 48. And I'm going to jump in here to look at that header and see which trailer is recommended, which is this one. And just for fun, let's make it uh, New, New Holland color. Okay. All the things, all the things, guys. I mean, this isn't an enormous harvester, uh, but it's a lot better than that small one. We owe the bank 500,000. That's okay, we'll make that back. Um, shouldn't be a problem.
Uh, not a self locker. Yeah, oh boy. Yeah, some of them lock in the, the header. Um, this one is going to be loose. So, and I don't think there's a straps option. Nope. Okay, we'll just have to be careful, I guess. Beacon. Coming through. A little bit easier to get down these roads. It's a faster harvester too. An extra 10, 10 kilometers an hour makes a big difference. On the road. It probably harvests at the same speed. Okay, so this is our road. I notice that there's not many street signs. Uh, three names. Names. Now, last time we took this way, and that is not the fastest way. We'll we'll go. We'll head right to the other road. And I think we're going to pull over right here with our header. A little cozy. Okay. It's still big for this harvester, but that's all right. That's all right. Beacons off. Roost. We'll do two headlands. Uh, we'll do it sharp. That should be okay. And then I need to change these settings. Uh, I don't want that folded. I do want that activated. I want self unload. Okay. Let's go. All right, we're finished mowing here. So uh, this field here was going to be grass and we will use that um, for making silage in our fermenter. And I'm gonna try to harvest this field, uh, which should be ready soon, if it's not already, uh, for hay. I will get straw from the uh, wheat field. And uh, so we'll be all set as far as feeding our cows. Okay, we will not use this one for this tractor for um, for the wind rowing. Uh, we're going to go. Uh, where is it? There's my trailer. Wonder if there's a back way that I can get through there. I have to remember to ride my horsies. Let's see if we can find a back way to get over there. Not sure where I'm going. <laughs> uh, where's my field? I think I need to go this way. Yeah, there we go. Found it.
Okay, we're going to turn that off. We're going to assume that it's going to be able to unload properly, uh, automatically. Let's jump over and we'll get our wind rower going. Nice thing about wind rowers, they don't need a lot of power. This little guy will do the trick. Okay, off we go. Okay. Next step is complete. Well, not complete, but started. What are we doing over here? Doing well, I think. This turn might be sketchy. Just gonna make sure this turn happens, and then I think it's gonna be okay. Maybe. Yeah, no problem. Um, okay, so let's go do something that may not be my favorite thing, but we're going to do it anyway. All right, my horsies, who wants to be get, go for a ride? How about you? Now, I don't really have to ride these. I am using the... Whoa! Whoa! I guess maybe I need practice, though. I don't know where that saddle came from. Yeah, I am using the Horse Helper uh, mod, and um, so all the riding gets done automatically. It's just nice to, you know, change it up a little bit. Ah, uh, there's no first person. We'll go for a bit of a ride. Uh, if we look at... Um, why is there only one horse? Oh, because I'm on it. I'm on the other one. Okay. Check out our field. Why not? A little reconnaissance. This is, this needs drilling. Uh, probably also needs fertilizing and maybe lime. Yeah, I'm doing okay, I guess. It's a cornfield. Oh, this thing doesn't corner very well. Okay, let's see if I can do this a little bit better. No. Okay, I've had about enough of this. <laughs> I don't know. I guess some people must really like this. I would assume there's, you know, especially if you're uh, a horse lover to start with. Um, it would be really cool if we could get horses um, for work horses. And we could attach equipment to them, uh, like the old days. That would be really cool. That I would get into. But, yeah, would require a bunch of new equipment as well as uh, different types of horses. This is not a typical workhorse breed. There we go. And I think I can... Oh, I can't. 
Now you could wash them. Or brush them. Brush them, I should say. We still have some straw here. Yeah, so what we're going to do here is we're going to... We're going to harvest this field and sell it back. And we'll use the money from that to buy a forage harvester. Yeah, this guy's still struggling a bit. We'll use the pet from now on. I may pull the uh, extra wheels off of this and use it as a general use kind of tractor. Still spinning. I bet you the vent doesn't spin like this. Oh boy, that's rough. Okay, let's finish this up manually. There's a couple of spots I think we missed. I think over here. Not much though, most of it was well done. to leave this right here. We're going to need it soon enough. Okay, let's go get these double wheels off of here. We'll, like I said, we'll use the bent next time. Uh, we won't need the double wheels. They just, they're, uh, they make turning a little bit more difficult. And, uh, if it's not needed, it's not needed, right? Pairs, customize, and our wheels will go down. Not narrow, that's for sure. Um, we'll leave. We'd have to pay more still. Okay, just standard. Just standard. I want to change the color. Can I do that? How's that? Zero dollars. Why not? Why not? Dirty though. Okay, let's go get our seed drill. We'll get some uh, drilling done. Um, put it way back here. Okay, where am I going? Where am I going? Um, I have to drill this. And it requires lime. So I should probably do liming first. I think that would be best. Um, yeah. And our windrowing is done. Is this guy big enough to be doing lime? That's the question. I don't think so. Let's sneak through here. Yeah, we might be able to get away with it. Oh, and it's full of lime already. Sweet. Sweet. I was trying to figure out where I was going to have to go to get lime. Thank you. Thank you, new farmer. So we'll get this lined up and then we will uh, put some oat, oats in this field. This shouldn't take too long. I think it's a pretty big spreader here. Uh, we're just going to do one smooth... There we go. Go. That line does go pretty fast, so that might be something in the future that uh, we're going to have to find a source for that. 
I don't know on the map if there's a lime cell point. Um, no. No. Spinnery sawmill. Great processing unit. Interesting. Dairy, carpentry, supermarket. No, there's no lime cell point. Blech. What's this? Bakery. Oh, wait. No. Okay. Well, so much for that. Uh, I'm not sure how we're going to do this. I guess we're going to have to buy a lot of bags. It's amazing how, fa how fast we're going through it. We're already through 20% of it. We haven't even done a lap yet. Okay. Oats. I suppose we have to fertilize as well. I got to get up and fertilize that other field too. So much work. So much stuff to do. We'll fertilize with the little guy. As soon as he's done with the lime. All right, we're done with that. I'm going to run up, get the uh, fertilizer spreader. Uh, you know, this one can do both, but right now there's lime in it. So yeah, we do have another one. And we'll get um, we'll get the drilling started. Uh, we'll fertilize after. Normally it's lime and fertilize and whatnot, and then plow uh, or, or cultivate and then drill, but um, I think, I believe, I'm not sure. Um, but in this case, we'll just do it, whatever. For the game, it works. This shed right here, this one right here, might go. In a, kind of an awkward place a little bit. Um, this full? Yes, it's full as well. But I am going to get a weight uh, just to make sure we don't have any problems. Okay, let's head up to the front field. This has already been drilled, but not fertilized, so we'll get that done. That should be fairly quick. And we'll just do one headland, smooth. Not even a lap. Oh, does it spread that wide, really? Seems crazy. Okay. Yeah, that seems weird. That's really wide. Okay, for some reason, no self unload. Right, oats selected. Three, three headlands, maybe. Two, three, sharp. There we go. All right, that field was quickly done. We're going to head down and we will. We're going to run two tractors on the same field and hope they don't collide. Might do it manually. Oh, we'll see. I'm considering just turning on the uh, workers can purchase, um, you know, refill the, the materials. Otherwise, I don't feel like making lime. I'm not firing up rocks. I'm not turning on rocks. Uh, so I can't make my own lime. There's no lime cell point on here. 
uh, no fertilizer cell points, so would it end up being a lot of a lot of bales? Um, we'll see. Okay, let's see how this works. Yeah, that big. Hopefully, they won't run into each other. Actually, I'm gonna do that. I will do that. Make that that setting change. Uh, bye bye. And yeah, I better do that as well. Okay. Yeah, that makes that, you know one step easier. Instead of relocating the seed and fertilizer uh, silos, I'm just gonna remove them all together. That guy's struggling, isn't he? Why did he stop? Wow. So on top of trying to move quickly and aggressively through the gameplay, there's also going to be a little bit more uh, stuff done off camera. Um. You know, where I'm already, I'm looking at my timer here on this recording, and it's already over an hour. Uh, edited down, this will probably be around 45 minutes already. Uh, we're not finished this field, and we still have the wheat field to do. Uh, so I think, you know, we're just going to keep progressing. This is going to be a little bit more of a uh, uh, catch up with me a little bit kind of scenario. And, um, like I said, this is not going to be a long series. Uh, I do have other things I wanted to get going. Uh, to be honest, this one was a little bit of a stopgap uh, between some things that, that I wanted to get done. So we're going to be uh, we're going to be fast food mode on this one. I think. <laughs> Hope that's okay with you guys. I do have one really cool series that I want to do. I just ha I need to think it through because the challenge that uh, I'm going to put on myself might be a, a problem. Uh, I have to do some testing and, and understand if that, that can work or not. Um, it's an idea and um, yeah, it's a little crazy to be honest. So we'll see. We have uh, finished fertilizing this. Now I'm going to have a look and see at fertilizing the field that we just plowed. I know that naturally that'll create one application uh, just by plowing in the grass. Uh, if I can knock both out, both applications, uh, we'll be ahead of the game a little bit. But I think it need, needs lime as well. Let's have a look again. I forget. Okay, uh, this field over here is the one in question. It's already fully fertilized, so I don't need to go back there. Interesting. Um, turn off lime. This one does not need plowing, so that's okay. Could use another application of fertilizer though, but I think it's ready to harvest, so I don't think it's gonna work. All right, this is going to take quite a while. These are big fields. Well, for this type of equipment, they're big fields. Uh, obviously, we're going to have to look into an upgrade at some point, uh, but we're all maxed out on our, uh, our loans and whatnot. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We're just going to finish up uh, this, this harvest here, and then uh, we will... Uh, load this into our new production and we'll have to wait till uh, next episode for the wheat. I am going to sell this field right away as soon as it's done. As soon as it's harvested, it's a, it's a quick flip. Uh, I just need to canola out of it right away. So I'll do that off camera and I'll probably do the wheat um, just off camera as well. 
I think I might keep that deal though. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. There is a field right nearby us, uh, right ne basically right on our farm uh, that I would like, but it's got potatoes in it right now. I don't want to go down that avenue, so we'll see if there's a change uh, in the future. If there is, we'll, we'll uh, you know, we'll, we'll pick it up when the right crop is in, I guess. At the end of the day, we could just purchase it and, and plow it out. And, and do what we want with it, but it would be nice to have somebody else do some of that work for free. <laughs> okay, so we're going to sell this here. It is in the way. Oop. Okay, I guess there was seed in there. All right. And I want to get rid of this shed. I don't know. Like, I just... I like open spaces. Uh, I know that uh, I know that people like to have things, you know, as much po as possible into. Actually, that's not the one I wanted to get rid of. What am I doing? All right. Anyways, uh, I might get rid of that as well. We'll see. We'll see. We might change up the kind of sheds that we have as well. Uh, I like pull through stuff for obvious reasons. And. Uh, all right, 30,000 liters of canola. That should get us going. Let's head over. We'll dump that out, and then we're going to call it an episode. Uh, I'm going to sell this field, as I mentioned. Uh, get our harvester back to the farm. And probably start in on the, on the wheat. And, um, yeah, that's going to be quite a bit of work as well, so. All right, here we go. I've never used this production before. Could be interesting. Canola. There we go. Let's see how much this holds. Ooh, it can hold incredible amounts, I guess. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to have to get into... Uh, yeah, we, we got to be careful, I guess. I don't think there's much of a market for mineral feed. Uh, so I think we'll probably uh, only put what we need. We'll do one load of uh, wheat in there as well. And, um, and we'll see where that takes us. Do I have anything? I forget now. Again, you know, this is why I'm running too many. Weapons. Do I have anything in here? No, I don't. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you're enjoying this series. And um, catch you in the next one. I hope you have a great day.